Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at another PS3 that is yellow light of death. So how do I know? Other than the blinking red light, if I power it on, it's gonna go green, yellow, red. The yellow is very quick, so let's see if I can get it in the frame. So. Let's see. So you should say green, yellow, red. So essentially this console is one of those backwards compatible ones. I got it on eBay uh, <laughs> as per usual with all of my purchases. Um, other than getting it on eBay, if I unplug it and flip it around to the back, you will see right over there um, that it is a GameStop refurbished console. Um, other than being a GameStop refurbished console, uh, as I mentioned, I've been trying to get some backwards compatible ones. And the way you know is usually the flap isn't broken, but I got my slots there. I have my four USB ports down below. And yeah, so what I plan on doing with this device is, as you saw in my previous video, uh, there are two methods, the NEC talk-in, which a while back we assumed that that fixed yellow light of death, but it kind of came out after that. It's not a foolproof method. Um, there is the, uh, I think it's called Syscon, where you wire it up and you read the error codes. Uh, kind of like an Xbox, you know, how the 360 had. If you don't know, the 360 has the three lights, but you can do secondary. It's kind of the same, so I'm going to do that, read it, try to figure out what it is. Going from there... I'm either gonna reball it using the standard RSX that's in the console itself, so putting that back on. Well, it's gonna be a re4 reball, I'm not sure yet. Or there is another method, um, which is called like a Frankenstein. It's essentially taking a slim RSX. I have one of those and this other chip to kind of put it on and make it work. So I might also decide to do that <laughs> while I'm doing this. I haven't decided yet where I'm going or what I'm doing with this. It's gonna be a we will see as we go, um, depending on what I, when I open it up, what's going on in there and whatnot, you know, we'll go from there with the error codes and whatnot, but yeah, um, let's uh, just jump right on into it and see what's going on with this console. Alrighty, so now the next step is to just open this all up and uh, see what's going on inside, so we will do that now.
say every time I take one of these guys apart, it reminds me how much I don't like doing PS3 stuff because it's a lot more intense than a 360. Um, so right off the bat, let's just take you guys in. Um, it's a stock console. I had a GameStop warranty, but um, yeah, it wasn't open. You could just kind of tell. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, RSX sell talking caps up top, and same thing, four talking caps down below. One, two, three, four. Um, so this is a PS2 one, so I think this is the PS2 chip. Same, there's another one over here. I've done a few of these, but I never, like I said, <laughs> I don't like it. Um, so I think the next step is to figure out how to use the syscon. So let me get all of that prepared and I will show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty, um, so this is our syscon stuff. So basically it's a, um, I believe it's called a UART. Basically like you, you solder a few things and you read the error code. So I got this a while back. It's pretty small. They go for like four or five bucks on eBay. It's essentially a mini USB to pin out. You connect these bad boys into the pins, boop, 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 like so. And then usually you saw there, so we will, we'd cut off this end and solder it to the you are point the points on the PS3 motherboard. Um, first time doing Syscon stuff, so let me locate the points and then I'll show you guys how that's done. So these are our points. So we have our RX D TX D and Diag. So diagnostics TX D. Alright, see, I'll leave a guide to all this down below. Essentially, from there, what I want to do cut these guys, solder one to each point, put it on the pin header, and plug it in, and it should work. So, let me do that and we'll jump back into this. Alrighty, guys, so I got my error codes. So, just wanted to kind of update you on what I got. So, <clears throat> those are the points right there. Essentially, RX CX to this guy, which is our reader, right? And then we have our ground, which I just grounded over there. Boom, boom, this. So you need to plug in your power to it also. This is just, you know, the power cable. And essentially you wanna have it on standby. So when you have it on standby, you'll see the standby light here, have everything unplugged. You'll plug this guy into your machine. And what I actually found, which was easier, is there's two folders. So there's a syscon reader, which is this guy, right? I'm all over the place, but it literally took me a long time to figure this out yesterday. So it's actually been a day later. So the syscon reader, you'll download a file, you'll, you'll extract it, and you will get, whoops, move that, but that's fine. You'll get this file called syscon reader right there. And essentially you'll just run that and you'll install the drivers for your device. So there's another folder. I'll link everything, but essentially what you want to do is in here, there'll be this folder called drivers. You'll install a driver, run the syscon reader. And essentially once you run it, I know I'm jumping from like place to place, but I just want to, you know, cover as much as I can. Cause this was a bit difficult. For me to figure out on my own. It's gonna open up an app that looks like that. So essentially your COM port will be whatever COM the device is on. So mine was COM4 and CXR is for fats and um, I believe it's SW for slims. Might be wrong, just read up on it. When you hit start, you'll hit off. So mine isn't gonna work because I don't have it plugged in right now. But you'll hit, hit off and I'll say successful and then you hit get error codes and it's gonna get 20 error codes. So these are my error codes and it's from zero to 19. So as you see, the 
my commonality is 2120 and 3034. I'll also link to this GitHub page and you just kind of look. So let's see. 3034 is right here. I already knew what it was. 3034 for BGA so all the connections for RSX. And 2021 2021 is 2020 right there. HDMI power failure. So I'm gonna go off the RSX and essentially what that means is I'm gonna unsolder this guy now because I don't need it. Take off the power supply again, flip it over, I'm gonna unlid the RSX and I'm gonna reball it. Probably gonna do a slim, so we're gonna go on the mod that I was talking about. We'll see how that turns out, and hopefully it'll all work. If it doesn't work, that's okay. It's a work in progress, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. If anything, yeah, we'll figure it out. But yeah, let's just switch back to the other view now. Alrighty guys, so this is where we are with the process. So I actually ended up reballing the original RSX, so I didn't show a lot of this just because process has been annoying. But I, oh, let me take this with me. I reballed the, um, where are we? Oh. I reballed the, there we go. I removed the RSX, so I refloat it, just like in my um, video where I did the 1060. So I removed the RSX, as you see there. Took out the trip. There's a trip now. Um, deleted it, so. This guy's the original IHS on it. Reballed it, or that's where we are right now. It being reballed or finished. The reason why I didn't use a slim RSX is because I uh, went a little too hard trying to remove the IHS from this. So this was a slim RSX. So I would have originally done the mod with it, but essentially I went a little bit too hard and broke it in half trying to remove this. So if anyone knows how to remove this when it's not on a motherboard, please let me know. Because what I did for this guy, which was pretty simple, was I put it on the... I put, put it there on my machine. Heated it up to like 120 on preheat, and I just stuck a... Um, there it is. A little piece of paper and a screwdriver and it popped off. Easy peasy, no problem. But this guy, I preheated it to 120, put the screwdriver in and ended up bending the chip in half. So I don't, I, I don't know, it's all a learning progress. To be honest, I I haven't rebelled on RSX before. This is my first attempt and it came out pretty well, as you see there, hopefully. It works, if not, um, I'll probably just buy a new one from the internet and try to put it on. As long as it's the same model, it'll be um, I'll be able to work. So that's where I am right now. We'll update once I have this on that and I have it done. So we're working on it. We're working on it. Alrighty, guys. So this is where we stand. Um, totally forgot to record the part of putting it back together, but I essentially got it revolved. Um, I have it this far together just to test it. To be honest with you, I'm not very confident that I got it to work. I think the reballing of the RSX was pretty bad. Um, yeah, I never reballed a chip before. I usually just get replacements because, you know, if they're broken, they're broken. Um, I use that MX5 for the thermal paste. So, thermal paste on both the cell RSX. Yeah, let's see what goes on here. I'd be surprised if we even get any standby lights. Yeah, see, we're not getting... Um, let me just... Sometimes... This guy doesn't... I hear power, but I don't see any lights, which... I'm assuming means that it didn't work successfully, but... Let me double and triple check my stuff real quick. Okay, so I had the power cable in incorrect. Now we have standby lights. Let's press it. I'm guaranteeing you yellow light. Yeah, see? Instant yellow. And I know what it's gonna be. It's essentially 
I didn't do the RSX right. I, I could I could feel it. Um, that's fine. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give it one more reflow to see if that helps. Actually, no, I'm not even gonna do that. It's a waste of time. I'm just gonna get a replacement and put it in here, and hopefully that'll work. Three weeks later. Hey guys, so it's been a while. Um, it's actually been a few weeks. So, update. Last time, obviously, I didn't get the RSX to work, but this is a new one. So, essentially, what I've been doing in my free time is browsing the internet to try to get a replacement. So, if we look here, this is another one. So, I got a few of them. I got, like literally one two into the third package of rsx's bought them from aliexpress um they're pre-balled leaded so they're the exact same model for this so any fats can use any uh cd 2971 gb it doesn't matter a b c they're all the same so i managed to ball this guy on here it came the heat spreader came off of it so this one was easier basically 200 degrees celsius gonna put the heat spreader back on so i'm gonna add some thermal paste here 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 put it on thermal paste thermal paste there put it back on no i'm not removing the ihs from this i know a lot of people are gonna say why not i don't feel comfortable enough don't want to break this if it works it's a backwards one so i'd rather not haven't done one before if it gets loud i'll think about it but as of right now no so that's the plan um got those trips gonna put this back together a little bit more to see how it works and uh yeah let's just do that right now and uh hopefully this works fine Alrighty, i got the ps2 back together as much as needed to test so essentially it's black you know in the metal shell power brick and this so we're gonna press power and let's see what happens and spin hard drive and look at that I think we're gonna get yep there we go playstation 3 so my takeaway from this is one <laughs> um the syscon reader does work so that error code that i had one zero three whatever was rsx broke my first rsx rsx put in a new rsx and it works so from here what i'm gonna do is i want to clean up the shell since it's a bit dusty inside Put everything back together and then update with that fully done and we'll see if it works in that step also so one second alrighty guys so i have the ps3 fully back together red light right there didn't put the top on but um yeah let's power it on Oop. green light PS3 logo. Home screen. And yeah. Everything works. So once again, just following up on it. Syscon worked. Didn't have to do the talk and caps. Maybe I will in the future, but as of right now, error was RSX trip. Reballed it. Didn't reball it. Failed at reballing it. Put a new one, leaded one on there from AliExpress, and it works fine. So... I say this one was successful. So if you guys like this type of content, like the PS3 stuff, um, leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. That's always useful. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of these things, shoot me a comment and I'll respond in a timely fashion. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. See you. Uh